Hello and welcome to the episode 112 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, on our menu, we have some early residencies, the completion of two Revolver songs and John Lennon changing his name. On the 22nd of April 1961, the Beatles, with Pete Best on drums, had their 22nd performance for their residency at the Top Ten Club in Hamburg, West Germany. Another residency one year later, in 1962, the third for the Beatles and Pete Best in Hamburg. This time around, they were on the stage of the Star Club. 1964 Another day of shooting for a hard day's night for the Beatles in various locations in London. In the early morning, they were in the back of the Hammersmith Audion Cinema, running down an iron staircase for the beginning of the Can't Buy Me Love sequence. In the afternoon, there is another police chase, this time with John Bluto acting as a car thief, bits of the Ringo solo sequence filmed in Lancaster Street, an All Saints Road, and finally, Paul filmed entering the Jack Billings TV School of Dancing, marked with the sign saying TV rehearsal room for his aborted solo scene. And we get more filming in 1965, this time at the Twickenham Film Studios for the initial scene of The Beatles' Help. The band's black and white performance of the title track, arranged to look like a TV broadcast, was used in the film and as promotional material for both the album and the movie all around the world. In the afternoon, the four started filming yet another unused sequence, set in a drama school, with British comedian Frankie Howard and actress Wendy Richard. And once again, I'll ask you to visit www.simonmas.com support, when you can, to see how you can make the difference and help me to concentrate on creating more music-related content. Be fab, and remember that you don't need to part with your money to lend a hand. Thank you! On the 22nd of April 1966, the Beatles were at the EMI Studios between 2.30 and 11.30 pm to record over dubs for Taxman and Tomorrow Never Knows. Taxman received the reduction mix, leading the way to the recording of Cobell and more backing vocals, the Mr. Wilson, Mr. Heat choir. Tomorrow Never Knows, still known with its working title of Mark I, received an overdub of organ, tambourine and piano. John Lennon also double-tracked his vocals, by sending the original lead vocal tape through a Leslie speaker and manually changing the speed of the tape. After that, the tape was reversed and Paul McCartney recorded a guitar solo in the spirit of what he had recorded for Taxman. Finally, in 1969, in an official ceremony taking place in the morning on the roof of the Apple Core building, John Lennon added Ono to his middle name. He wanted to remove his original second name, Winston, which he never liked, but couldn't, according to British law. John's reasoning for the act was that if Yoko Ono had changed their surname when she married him, adding Lennon as customary, it was only fair that he changed his name to incorporate her surname. In the evening, working at the EMI studios from 11.00 pm to 4.30 am, John and Yoko produced a session in which the first side of the upcoming The Wedding album was completed. John and Yoko's heartbeats were recorded, followed by them calling each other by shouting each other's name for the duration of the track. The piece was called John and Yoko. This concludes today's episode of our podcast. Tune in tomorrow for a nice luncheon. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.